Now we can go ahead and install the LEDs for the light and turn signals on the car. The LEDs are in this small bag. There are two types, two big LEDs for the lights and four small ones for the turn signals. I will take them out of the bag. And now we have to start inserting them into the proper places. We will start with one of the small ones. You can see that the LED has one longer and one shorter pin. Here we have indicated plus and minus for each of the connection points on the pin headers. For simplicity I will start with this LED here which is a single small LED. I will bend it roughly under 90 degrees like this And since I bent it with the longer pin, again I forgot to mention, the longer pin is positive, the shorter is negative. So plus minus minus plus here. Since I bent it with the longer pin on this side, I will connect it right here. Insert the longer one in the plus and the shortened one in minus. This time I'll be more careful to first look how the LED will go in and then bend it. Roughly at this point. Now I can also insert it. The small LEDs are slightly loose in the connection point. If you have soldering iron and if you have available some pin headers like this one, either straight or L shape pin headers, both will work. You can peel two of those pin headers, solder the LED on top of them, and then use the pin headers to insert into the female pins. This way, you will be sure that the LEDs are securely inserted and they will not get loose. Also, for the small LEDs, when you bend them, and I'm gonna bend this one for here, with the long wire pointing to the plus, the shorter wire to the minus, when you bend, you can bend them in such a way that you spread them slightly, like this, so they will stay more secure in the, inside the connector. This LED is quite secure. As you can see, none of the LEDs is falling off because I slightly split them, adding some tension that prevents them from being loose. Next, I will pick one of the big LEDs. It goes with minus to the outside and plus to the inside according to the labeling. So the longer pin goes on the inside. We bend it and we insert it here. If you decide, you can cut some of the legs of the LEDs, so they will come closer to the chassis. Or you can bend them so they will go more forward. Now the remaining two LEDs 
I will start with the big one. The positive is on the inside of the car. So it will be oriented like this. Bend it. And insert the two pins in the pin here. This one is oriented the opposite way with the plus on the outside. Bend it. And insert in place. All the LEDs are now in place and this looks more and more like a smart car with lights and turn signals.